Increasing productivity through introducing alfalfa has been a technique we use in pasture rejuvenation for a number of years. And one of the things that producers have been asking us, you know, with all these new zero-till drills that are available uh, commonly for seeding annual crops, and some of them are getting pretty sophisticated, uh, could we possibly use zero-till equipment to seed alfalfa into grass pastures to rejuvenate them? So one of the things that we did in 2011 is a project where we looked at six different commercially available openers. We identified six different openers and we obtained five openers of each type from the manufacturers and then what we did was we went out in, in spring in May of, of uh, 2011 and we seeded into pasture that had been prepared either by leaving it, just letting it grow or uh, two weeks earlier we'd sprayed glyphosate, a herbicide, on, on half of the plots. So we established a, an experimental design, a plot layout in the field. We went in with, with the PAMI plot seeder and the PAMI plot seeder was, was equipped with one set of knives and then we, we had seed all four replicates of that particular uh, opener with and without the herbicide pretreatment. Then we manually just uninstalled those openers, took them off, put on uh, the next opener and, and repeated the process until we had seeded all six treatments with the six different openers. Uh, we also used a control plot where we took one of the openers and we seeded without any alfalfa seed in the drill. So we had a disturbed control plot and then we had an undisturbed control plot. So we did that late May of 2011. And, of course, 2011 was a little bit like 2010, where we had fairly good moisture, so there was good grass production. We did get very good control of the grass with glyphosate. And looking across all six openers, we didn't see any huge differences in the amount of disturbance or the amount of sod that had been you know, ripped up or removed from the seed furrow where we were trying to place the alfalfa seed. We actually had to change the drill a little bit and add one uh, gang of five assemblies across the back to allow for the, the double shank, the double knife opener assembly to be tested. So then in July, after we'd allowed for some growth and we had some pretty good rainfalls in June, in July we went out and we did three one meter counts on one meter of row length, counted the number of seedlings. One of the interesting things was right away you could see a very visible difference in the, in the amount of growth, the, the height of growth of the alfalfa in the glyphosate treated plot was much taller than where there had been no herbicide control. Interestingly enough, the grass came back where we had had the herbicide applied. So it suppressed the grass growth, but it didn't completely kill it. Now we don't know if it, it, some of the plants escaped some of the herbicide injury and then grew back or whether they came back from seedlings. We didn't examine that, but it, it was interesting that you know, we didn't have a pure stand of alfalfa even in the, the plots where we seeded into the herbicide control. And there was quite a bit more alfalfa, like 42% of the stand of the biomass the, of the forage was alfalfa where we had the herbicide pretreatment and compared to 1% alfalfa where there was no herbicide. So really quite a dramatic difference due to the, the herbicide. When we look at the openers, however, there wasn't a huge difference between the openers. Yes, every one of them had more seedlings uh, than the control treatments. Obviously, the disturbed control and the control had uh, zero alfalfa seedlings, but all the openers had between 35 and about 50, 55 alfalfa seedlings per meter of row. The forage yields were pretty similar uh, among all six openers and the percent alfalfa in, in the forage that was produced was also very similar. So one of the things that we took from this trial is that it looks like all of these zero-till openers the, all, of all kinds of different configurations are, were all adequate for seeding alfalfa into a grass stand and rejuvenating your pastures. It was interesting that this uh, Roundup and no Roundup comparison um, held on even into the October, the fall growth of these uh, plots. The alfalfa continued to grow in the fall where the, the crested wheatgrass and uh, bluegrass in the pastures pretty much shut down for the fall season and you can see in these pictures that uh, there is a, is a difference even going into the end of October of 2011. So 
our conclusions from this project was that all of these common, commonly available zero-till openers for annual crops worked well for seeding alfalfa into grass sod and doing pasture rejuvenation. The alfalfa growth was improved significantly with having the herbicide pretreatment there because it reduced the grass competition and allowed the alfalfa to grow. Uh, you know, grass competition has been shown quite, to, quite dramatically affect lots of different uh, forage legumes, so it's not just an alfalfa thing. But it is interesting to note that, that uh, we can do this with a, very effectively with even a one liter rate of this glyphosate treatment in spring. However, I would caution producers that, that hear this report that this is only based on one year, 2011 results at uh, Tremonde Research Ranch at Lanning in Saskatchewan. So one year in one site. We really need to do more uh, research to confirm these kind of results on different soil types under different climatic conditions in different parts of the province. So uh, while it's very good preliminary information, uh, we do feel that more work needs to be done. And in conclusion, I just would like to thank the Agriculture Development Fund of Saskatchewan for funding this research project. It's myself and Nathan Gregg from PAMI were uh, the principal investigators on this project and we really appreciate their funding support.